So, this is a great question. Did any apostle write any gospel? And if so, how much do the current gospels reflect the original teachings? Awesome question. Awesome question. Prior to the crucifixion, the teachings were oral. They were oral teachings. There's, there's stories in the Bible of Jeshua taking a select few and taking them off to the side and, and, and sharing information with them. Not that it was secret. He, they were just ready to hear something. And it was all oral. It was all oral tradition. The first book in the New Testament is the, 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 the one that's considered the oldest book of the New Testament is a letter from Paul. And it's attributed to 50 years after the crucifixion. Which is interesting. Right? Right? The book of John, the, uh, the book of James, the, 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 the New, New Testament, and the, um, and the Gnostic James as well. Um, all these books are texts, but none of them when they're dated, go back to the time of Jeshua. None of them. They were oral tradition, and they were handed down. And just like any telephone game you've ever played, you know, when they when you get ten people in a line, you whisper something to the first person's ear, and they got to whisper it down. By the time you get to the tenth person, it's not the same. There's kernels of truth in it. There's pieces of information in it, but it's not the same. Now imagine playing the telephone game over centuries and imagine every time you play the telephone game you're not only telling the story but now it's going to somewhat of a different language who's now translating it and that translation isn't always perfect and then that translation when they're because it's not always perfect there's a new interpretation and that interpretation goes on to the next group of people and it gets translated and translated then you get someone like King James who says well, you know, you know, he would really, you know, uh, double down on the fact that everything is Jesus and Jesus is God. And I say Jesus, not Joshua in this case, because that's the, the Christian Jesus, right? And there's a line in the Bible, whatever you ask in God's name is granted. That's the original interpretation. King James Version says, whatever you ask in my name is granted. And it's uh, attributed to Jesus. So the the meanings were changed consistently. And then you have things like the majority of the New Testament is written by Paul. Paul was a Roman citizen. Paul lived with Governor Felix. They said imprisoned. But it's well known that he not only lived with him, but he taught him Christianity when they were, when they were together. And when you read the Gnostic texts, which which is where they got all of the books that are in the New Testament from the Gnostic texts. When you read the Gnostic text, you very quickly discover that the brother of Jeshua called Paul the great liar and that you know that his teachings weren't weren't accurate. And yet the the majority of the New Testament is Paul. And John, <laughs> oddly enough, um the key to reading the ancient texts, the key to any information you get, is to find what feels right to you. Find, and the way I find that is I find what feels loving to me. When I find what feels loving to me, I found God. Because God is love. And so I stay focused on what is loving and what is true, and I live what is true to me. You'll often hear me say, I'm, I'm only speaking my truth. I'm not asking you to take my truth. I'm asking you to find your own. You know, and if my truth rings true, then, then great. And if my truth doesn't ring true, then cool. Find your truth. But I would highly suggest that when you read anything, only feel it through love. And if you feel fear and anxiety or something that says you're going to get damned to hell or burned, burned in hell or... You know, that you have to um, cut your hair a certain length or wear a certain type of clothes or any of that kind of stuff. None of that's love. That's just mad-made rules. And so, when you read any of these texts, 
or every one of them in every religion is flawed. It's for you to find the information that rings true to you. And so have fun and live loving and find the loving parts in all of the teachings. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.